And first thing first, thank you for your love and your support. I highly appreciate it. Can't express it enough. Real talk, real shit. So anyways, y'all, we will get straight to it, man. So for a lot of y'all just not familiar with Richard Pryor, he was an actor slash comedian. Okay. He was very much loved in the black culture. Um, I wasn't really a fan of him. He wasn't really funny to me. I never got his jokes, you know, or his comedy, but I know a lot of other people did. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here to let you guys know, you know, just like Tupac, just like Biggie, you know, he's one of the original people who faked his death because Richard Pryor is alive, y'all. Okay? And that's what we need to start focusing on. Okay? When I mean that that's what we need to start focusing on, we got to start focusing on the fact that we're being deceived. How are we being deceived and why are we being deceived? Because I think for people to understand, they got to understand when they be like, well, what's the point, man? Like, I don't get why would he go and be somebody else just to fake his death again? Like, y'all don't understand the, the length of these contracts. Y'all don't understand the extent that they're willing to have to go. If you want to hire a new actor to play the role of a made up character, or would you have one of your best? play that role to play a bigger role in a generation see every five to ten years which is half to a decade you know what i'm saying the generation change so you know people time span is shorter people attention span is shorter you know what i mean so you have to find different ways different characters to be able to deceive because who's going to fucking listen to richard Pryor if he was still alive in our generation you could maybe our us you know what I'm saying? But you think the youth is going to listen to Richard Pryor? You know what I mean? So they, they use these characters to recycle these actors. And y'all got to stop with this. In Hollywood, it's easy to pull off 10 years and 20 years. So that's the first thing y'all got to understand. When you're making an NBA 2K player, it's so easy to, to change the age, the height, and the weight of your player. And that's exactly what they do in Hollywood. There's no difference. What you're looking at is your boy Richard Pryor. And it's no joke, man. Let's take a look at your boy. Okay? Because he played a role of Steve Harvey. Now, when you look at Steve Harvey, first off, they have the exact same teeth. They keep that mustache there. You know what I mean? To let y'all know. And they have the, and they have very similar um, eyebrows. Okay? So they have the same eyebrows, in my opinion, when Richard Pryor was alive. Faked his death. Now, when you look at Steve Harvey, y'all, you can clearly tell your boy Steve Harvey is wearing a fucking mask. He's always caked the fuck up in his face. Okay? Now, what they did was, okay, so Richard Pryor already had a big nose. So they gave Steve Harvey an even bigger nose. His nose looked completely abnormal. Okay? They added prosthetics to his face. Okay? So if you look at this picture right here, perfect example. If you look, if you notice from the his, his eyebrows going down towards his nose, you can clearly tell it's like a lighter complexion, right? And you can clearly tell that's where the prosthetics is added on. If you look at Steve Harvey's eyes, this is a definition is of people having thick skin, but this is what you call a mask. As you can see, the mustache covers the the capital, the lowercase m and you can see above the eyes there are like five shades of brown but you can see where the eyes are hidden in behind the eyes are sucked in that is richard Pryor mustache that is richard Pryor teeth that is richard Pryor bottom lip okay and those are richard Pryor eyes and when you look at steve harvey the man never looks fucking serious remember he have this completely soulless goofy fucking look on his face at all times when people are wearing masks or prosthetics y'all they never fucking can change their facial expressions okay if you look at him he always wore a fake man unit with a fake lineup before they removed it okay that's exactly what they did and when y'all talk about the height y'all have to understand man y'all don't see steve harvey every day Y'all see, see Steve Harvey on talk shows, okay, when y'all do see him. Y'all talk about the height. Well, it's so easy to make a motherfucker six feet, six feet five, or a motherfucker five, eight, six feet two. 
inserts in your shoes you can get on Amazon. But they have certain shoes built for these people depending on how their feet are built to make them that. It is not hard. You know what I mean? Oh, Steve Harvey's a big dude. It's not hard. You can clearly tell he has on a bodysuit on top of that. Okay? And that's what y'all got to understand. To deceive us is what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? To help push agendas is what they want to do. They use people that the black community, Hispanic community, and communities, communities respect in cultures. So when they want to push something on us, like what's going on in today's world, right? It's easier for us to do because if he openly go on IG and go live and say he got you know what, and he's going to take you know what, so many people, adults, our moms, our grandmothers, is going to do it because they like Steve Harvey. They're a fan of Steve Harvey. They feel like he's an intelligent man, knows he's talking about, got some money in his pocket. So they're going to do it because he's doing it. They're not even knowing this shit is fucking fake. Okay? And again, the whole age thing, y'all, is so easy, y'all. It's so easy. This is the same people, man. These are the same people, y'all. We got to wake up. And then for that one picture that's floating around the internet, or Richard Pryor's inside of a wheelchair, on, in a wheelchair, and Steve Harvey is standing up, right? Why they don't have pictures together when he was healthier? Ask yourself that question. And again, why does he got to wear glasses? And it looks like a completely different man. In fact, it looked like his stuntman in that one movie he did. 